Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're not having any sound output on your Windows XP computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So just go down to your system tray and locate your volume icon and double click on it. Make sure the master volume control is turned up and where it says mute all, make sure that's unchecked. So you might have to turn up the volume here. Make sure your speakers are also turned on and powered up as well. So if you have physical speakers connected to your computer, if you're using a desktop, make sure that they are turned on and that the volume is turned up on them. So if there's a dial on it, make sure it's turned up. So that's one thing I'd recommend taking a look at. Really the first and biggest thing I'd recommend taking a look at. Something else you can take a look into here as well, if you open up the Start menu, and select Control Panel on the right panel here. Select the sounds, speech, and audio devices. And where it says sound and audio devices, select that. And where it says volume, again, make sure that is turned up for the voice volume here. Make sure place volume icon in the taskbar is checkmarked. And if it's currently muted, make sure that's unchecked. And you can also select the speaker volume here and make sure they're turned up. So turn them up to high. Select apply and OK. Go underneath advanced here. You can select different speaker setups you may have for your device. So pretty straightforward process on that. And if you go over to sounds, that shouldn't really have anything to do with our issue here. Audio, the default playback device, click inside the drop down here. If you have different devices potentially that you hook up to your computer periodically, there may be other output devices in here. Make sure you select the one that you want it to actually come out of. So that's something else very important. I want you guys to take a look at there if you are still having the problem. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's the big stuff here. You can also, if you close out of there, open up the search menu and select Run on the right panel. Type in devmgmt.msc. Again, devmgmt.msc. And select OK. And you want to expand the sound, video, and game controller section. And then go through any audio devices listed in here. And right click on them. And select update driver. Select where it says yes, this time only. And then next. Install from a list or a specified location. And then next. And then select don't search. I will choose the driver to install. And then next. If there are generic drivers in here, you can select them. I usually recommend going along with the manufacturer-specific one if you have more than one in here to choose from. And then you would select Next and then Finish. And I would recommend doing that for any audio devices listed in here. And consider restarting your computer. And hopefully your issue should have been resolved. You may have an issue with a particular website. You might have muted the tab for that as well. So if you're using a different web browser, make sure that site is not muted you may have to right click on the tab and select unmute. That's always a potential problem you may be coming across. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.